Hey friends, what's up? Marquise here again, back with another new comic book day haul for you guys, this time for June 20th, 2018. I got a few books in from Midtown, and after that I have a few books from my LCSs, um, so we'll get into those. But first, let's get into this Midtown haul. It's a pretty small haul uh, right now. These are some books that I ordered sometime last week, and they came today, uh, which was fine. Uh, so I used to, before I started doing videos and I was just watching guys I like, guys and girls I liked on, on YouTube, I could uh, never fathom, you know, not remembering what I ordered. But as I now order a lot, um, I understand where they were coming from. So what we have here is Suicide Squad number 35. I love this cover and I love it so much, apparently, that I bought it twice. So this is my second time ordering this cover. I must have forgot I had it. I know it's the first appearance of a new character, uh, so it was a good grab. I missed it originally Originally, when it came out. I had it in my hands, <laughs> and some of you people, you know, guys and girls out there can feel me on this. I had it in my hands and passed on it, and then I got home and I started watching comic book haul videos, and then I heard the hype about it, and I said, ah, I kind of kicked myself because I had it, and I wanted it, but I just passed on it. I probably had you know, a a big order that day or something like that. And, you know, another book would have been too much for me that day or whatever, what have you. I was probably trying to save money, I guess is what I'm getting at at the time. But I have two copies now, so all good things come to those who wait, right? This is the book that made me, well, one of the two books from this Midtown Hall that made me press the, uh, the order button. <laughs> This had came back in. I missed it the first go round, so I was glad to get it, get the notification on this when I did. So I appreciate Midtown for doing or having that feature where you can put things on a wish list and kind of get them if they ever show back up on their site. So that was a good get. I really enjoyed the Avengers No Surrender series. If you're an Avengers fan, or if you're you know a fan of you know the different characters like the Hulk and things like that. Um, uh, who else had a really good appearance in there? I want to say the Hulk was, you know, a a good character for that series. You know, he kind of so I want I don't want to give it away, but if you like the Hulk, and if you like you know kind of the odd characters of the Avengers, you might like this. Give it a shot. And there was a first appearance in the in the issue before this one, um, and then a full appearance in this issue. I believe that's how that went. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I'm not above being corrected. Next, we have Nick Wilson. The Further Adventures of Nick Wilson. Uh, issue number three, the B cover. I really enjoyed this series. I, it was a new series, and I really dived into it. After the first issue, I was in. There was only five issues for this series, and I was m making sure to grab the A and B covers for both. So... I have completed that goal with this order. We have number four, The Further Adventures of Nick Wilson, the B cover. This was a hot issue. It came and went so fast on Midtown. So when it uh, popped back up last week, I want to say maybe last two weekends ago, something like that, I made sure to grab it. Um, and again, it's out of stock. so. I made the right choice. Really happy to have that. Well, last but not least from the Midtown Hall, we have The Further Adventures of Nick Wilson, issue number five, the B cover. And that will complete the run for Nick Wilson for me of both A and B covers. Like I said, I really enjoyed the story. If you haven't had a chance to read it, um, you may like it. It's pretty laid back. It's just... I guess the premise is, or I don't guess, but the premise is that Nick Wilson used to be a superhero and then he lost his powers. So now he's just a regular guy, just a regular Joe Schmo like the rest of us. And he's, uh, you know, the, the the trials that he goes through now being a regular guy after having superhuman abilities. Uh, here we have number one, Matt Joker Mask. I got this, I saw this at my local comic shop, and it was up on the wall, 
And I remember as a kid loving the movie The Mask and watching it so much on VHS. <laughs> that's how old I am. Uh, not that that's incredibly old, but for some people that is. Um, and really enjoying that story and Jim Carrey's, you know, just playing the heck out of that character. So I grabbed these. I haven't read them yet. Uh, I have three of the four. But I hope they're good, and I assume they will be. But this was very nostalgic for me. Here we have issue number two. And issue number three. All in great condition. I'm not sure around what time these came out, but uh, they seem to be in great condition. And I was really happy to grab these. They've been staring at me for the past two to three weeks. So I'm really glad no one snatched them up before I did. Next we have The Weatherman, issue number one. The B cover. And this came out last week. I'm hearing really good things about it. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. I've been really busy lately. So hopefully I'll get the time this weekend to sit down and crank out a few you know, books that I really want to read. I was able to do so last weekend, so hopefully I can squeeze some time in to catch up and hopefully give you guys, you know, some updates on, on what's good, what's hot, and what's not as far as uh, my opinion goes for whatever that's worth. Next we have Gideon Falls. That is the A cover. This is issue number four. So a really good story. If you haven't checked it out, if you like kind of the horror, mystery, thriller genre of things as I do, check it out. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I always want to hear from you guys and girls. Next we have the B cover. Nice little creepy cover there. I'm into it. And Jeff Lemire does really good work, I think. And I got into him after reading the trade of the run he did for Moon Knight, which I thought was fantastic. So he's a, a writer I always look out for. DC Universe Rebirth Super Sons number four, the B cover. No, the A cover. Sorry about that. The A cover. I'm working on collecting both the A and B covers for this run. And I'm down to, after picking up this issue, I'm down to two more covers that I need. And then I'll be complete. And I'll be very happy about that. I love, 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 love this series. Batman, Prelude to the Wedding, Red Hood versus Anarchy. I haven't read any of these, but they've been on my pull list. So I've been grabbing them. I think uh, my LCS knows that I would love them. So they pull them for me. I just haven't gotten around to reading them yet. And somehow, Batman Sins of the Father um, ended up on my pull list. I'm sure because I, I asked for it. But I say that only because I haven't read any of them. And I don't even think I read the description of what's going on. So... I think it's just because I like Batman. Here we have The Brave and the Bold. And this is strictly for my girlfriend. She has not begun reading these yet, but she asked me to pull... No, she's read issue number one, I believe, and maybe two. So she's working her way through them. And they're only it's only a six-issue miniseries. So she'll get to this and, you know, she'll be done this in no time. I know she loves Wonder Woman, which is the reason why we started grabbing this for her. Here we have a awesome, awesome Young Guns variant. And I have tried my best to pick up every Young Guns variant that I can. And I'm doing pretty well. I think I'm missing one that's been out so far. But I'm not mad. I'll, I'll find it eventually, I assure you, and I will show you guys and girls when I do. But this is a really, really great cover for Black Widow. So 
So this was a really good get for me. I was looking around all over to try to get this at a, a decent price. And I finally found it. Uh, Tyler Kirk Kirkham. It's done it again. <laughs> for me anyway. That cover is the real deal, man. That that cover is not going anywhere. That's staying with me. Something about it. I'm just, I'm in. I really like it. He does great work. And I just found out about him recently. Just started paying attention to his covers. And uh, I'll have to go back and see a lot of the stuff he's done in the past. Maybe I can grab some cool stuff that he's done prior to me uh, being introduced to him about maybe a month or two ago. But I really enjoy this cover and I'm glad I was able to get it at a, at a nice price. Um, so there's that. And if you know me and you know that I like Marvel movies, you know that you can't talk to me when the part of the movie, you know, comes on where Iron Tony Stark is changing into his Iron Man suit. That's my favorite part of any of the Iron Man movies and any of the Avengers movies, you know, and the Captain America Civil War movie. I, I love to see how they've, you know, revamped how he's getting in and out of these suits. So this was a cool, you know, it, re it reminded me of that, you know, that scene when he hits the stage and he's coming out of his suit and stuff like that. So that was a really cool cover. Again, I was really happy to get this. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to, but... I'm really glad that I did. Things work out in your favor sometimes. That's the beauty of being in the comic book hobby. <laughs> lastly, 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 we have the J. Scott Campbell classified variant for Till Death Do Us Part X-Men Gold. Now, what I will do is show you this, but what I won't do is open it. So we'll have to... You'll have to stick around and come back this weekend for when I do the Saturday haul, which there will be one, um, like clockwork, and we'll open it up then. How's that sound? So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, oh, lastly, 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 let's get into this Batgirl cover. Joshua Middleton is doing great work for Bat Batgirl, and I have missed out on the last two covers that he's done. So this is a reminder to me, I pulled this out of my one of my short boxes, that um, I do have something. We can't win them all, but he's doing great work. And I would be very happy if sometime in the near future I can grab one of the, the recent covers that he's just put out. Um, one comes out next week, and there was one that came out in May that just got, you know, people ate that one up. So just like they are the one that's coming out next week, it's already sold out on Midtown. So thank you guys for hanging out with me once again. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And come talk to me in the comments. I'm always around. I love to hear what you guys think. I want to know what you picked up this week, what you were looking forward to getting and couldn't get. I want to know all that type of stuff. Let me know what you're reading and uh, come hang out with me. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video. I really appreciate it. See you next time.